Hello guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at two interesting items that I picked up today at a thrift store. Uh, now the first one we're not going to spend that much time on. Uh, it is a monorail keyboard. Now no, it's not the trains that you know run around Disney World. This is actually uh, a keyboard to a very, it's uh, a supposedly a very rare uh, computer and there is not much uh, information about uh, this machine uh, but as you can see I got it for $4.94 um, but yeah but besides the fact that it goes to a uh, rare computer this keyboard is in very nice condition as you can see the keys are have hardly been used uh, that spacebar there I'll zoom in and you can see they look very like they sound new, they, they, they've, this keyboard has hardly been used, uh, I can just tell, and I mean it's very nice, and if we flip it over to the back, we will see a monorail, and it says designed for Microsoft Windows 95, and uh, like I said, there is not a lot of info about this uh, machine, uh, but basically what I know about it is it is a uh, all-in-one computer that was made to be priced at under $1,000 and uh, this was in uh, 1995 around that time uh, when, when this was made because it ran Windows 95 uh, and it was uh, supposed to be a very easy to use computer and it was uh, all in one sort of like the uh, original Macintosh so yeah I'm not going to spend that much time on it and just it's just the keyboard I'm not that I'm not sure how it's uh, how much it, that it's worth uh, it might be worth, you know, a dollar, it might be worth a hundred dollars. I'm not really sure, I just uh, found it, it looked pretty interesting. Uh, I knew the name uh, Monorail, so I just picked it up. But the next thing is uh, more interesting, and I did a uh, video similar to this before. This is Microsoft Word for Windows. If you guys saw my Microsoft Excel for Windows video, I will put that link down below. Uh, but this is uh, pretty much the same, it looks exactly the same in the exact same sort of packaging, it's just Microsoft Word instead of Excel. And as we can see in that little sticker up there, I will zoom in on that, and it says uh, PC Magazine, hear me, PC Magazine 1992 Editor's Choice Award. So this was from 1992 apparently, just by looking inside this box, there looks to be some more uh, some more things than uh, the Microsoft Word uh, install discs, as you can see in there. There's some like five and a half or uh, they're five and a quarter diskettes, but we will take a look at that because I have I have not looked inside of this, so it's going to be an actual true unboxing. Uh, this is the back. Uh, it says Microsoft Word, and we'll zoom in here. Microsoft Word. Microsoft Windows ready to run and if we go down here there is the same thing that was on the uh, Excel box if it will focus here anyway we have the uh, Excel box, PowerPoint, uh, Mail here let me zoom out a little bit by the way this is uh, my new camera that I'm using so um, uh, it can zoom in and all that and Word on the side there and Microsoft on the bottom. So yeah, let's just get into the box. I'm pretty interesting to see what we have, what we have inside this box. Um, so let's take out this giant book first. See if we don't have to go through like 900 pages of instruction manuals. We have one giant thick user's guide this time. You can just get dropping on the floor. That was that was pretty uh pretty heavy. Um, how many pages this is? This is it is 849 pages. I'll just bring it up to the camera lens right there. 849 pages. You can see right there. So yeah, pretty thick manual. Well, now we can get into this other stuff that looks very interesting. It's this whole whole little box thing here, sort of like in the Excel box, but apparently it was turned around. So yeah, we have the same Microsoft logo. It was just turned around. And yeah, we have these these diskettes here. I'll take a look at them. Got Microsoft Word for Windows. Startup Disk One. Uh, program Disk Two. 
board for Windows Disk 3, Disk 4, Disk 5, Disk 6, and Microsoft Word for Windows. This is this looks like someone's disk that they made. I'm not sure what it's maybe it's like yeah. Apparently it is a high density DSHD IBM format. Maybe it's like a disk they don't have is it disk seven maybe? Do we not know? Yeah. Maybe it is this disk seven, I'm not sure. But I'm interested to see what these high density or these um five and a quarter inch ones are. So it looks like it's word perfect. Uh let's see what this is. Yeah, those are the actual floppy disks. That's where they got their name from because they are floppy. Printer one. So uh, we got this printer help here. I'll take this out for you guys. Printer help. Do you guys want to read that there? I will pause. You can pause the video and read this. Or to print with WordPerfect. The other side there. So yeah, kind of interesting. Looks like it's. So, so there's diskette care and uh, handling information. Always keep it inside these little things. See what's in this one. Printer 2. And then we got printer 3, dot matrix. Printer 4, laser. So they have all separate printers. Let's just take all this stuff out. Um, oh, jeez. Everything just fell over. Okay. Um, Word Perfect 1. Let's see how many uh, discs it needs to install. Word Perfect 2. Okay, so I guess it's only two discs, which is interesting. Because these are so, like, these are not big at all. I mean, they're big in size, but not in uh, storage capacity. Speller, Thesaurus, Fonts, Graphics, PTR Program Learning, and Graphic Drivers. They have, like, separate discs for everything. Okay, so, yeah. A surprise WordPerfect install. Look at how many discs that is. Let's count that. One, two, three, four, five, six... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. About 13 discs. So <laughs> this all this thing. Okay. So now let's take a look at the actual word stuff and see if we get any more surprises. And it's going to fall over again. Okay. Microsoft Word for Windows Getting Started Guide. It's pretty much a normal getting started guide. Uh, starting and quitting Word. Uh, Okay, it's three pages long. You can see right there. Three pages long. Uh, Microsoft Graph, uh, which is not included, but the uh, manual is right here. Um, Microsoft Graph User's Guide, Apple Macintosh series or Windows series. Okay, and this is how many pages this is. This, this is one hundred. 118 pages. Now, Microsoft Graph doesn't exist anymore, so I don't know what if they if this was like merged with Excel or something. But yeah, and see, this doesn't say like for for Windows. So this was uh, like multi-platform. It says it can be used with uh, Macintosh as well. So interesting. We also have this uh, thing. Looks like it's a cheat uh, like cheat sheet for all the uh, keyboard shortcuts. And what is this? Word for Windows 2. Okay, here's like what the F keys do. Okay. Interesting. And you can you can stick this, but it looks like it hasn't been like it's the sticky part is still here, so whoever owned this did not use that. So and we have WordPerfect, quick reference for IBM personal computers. And features and keystroke to stay another quick reference cheat sheet sort of thing for all the keyboard keyboard shortcuts and Microsoft Draw and this does not say for Windows so I'm going to assume is or maybe it's not for Mac or both it says for Windows Microsoft Drawing application for Windows for, for personal computers including IBM PCAT and 100% compatibility so it doesn't say anything about uh, Macintosh. So maybe this is not made for uh, the Macintosh. So let's see here. How many pages we got? 89 pages. 
Interesting. And is this one more manual? Microsoft Education Editor. I've never heard of any of these programs except for Word and uh, Word and yeah, just Word and WordPerfect. It's, but WordPerfect is not made by uh, Microsoft, by the way. It is made by uh, I forget, I forget who it's made by. Maybe this WordPerfect Corporation. But this is 106 pages. So yeah, a lot of manuals. And you, oh gee, there's more stuff in there. I didn't even realize that. Let's see what else we got. We have, um, <laughs> Walmart Portrait Studio. Okay, um, is this a C, this is a CD, this looks like, um, from, from Walmart, exclusive Walmart Portrait Studio Edition. Works with the portrait gallery, that sounds interesting. Oh, and my camera is, like, recognizing the, the, the people down there as, like, faces, which is... Interesting. This is this is interesting. Okay. It's, didn't expect that. Let's see what else we have. Um Portrait Gallery. This from this is from Walmart again. Okay, Portrait Works. It will focus here. Portrait Works from PCA. This is CD. Oh this is floppy disks. Or one floppy disk. And it looks like it hasn't been used. Or it has some software on it where you can write well, I'm not really sure but it is a high density floppy disk as you can see cool let's see what else learn Windows ME mastering the internet and email oh wow it's a Windows ME mastering the internet and email CD okay interesting I have never seen one of these before um, Learn Windows ME mastering is to install. Place in your CD. -ROM. We might have to take a look at this. Is this made by? No, this is not made by uh, by Microsoft. It's made by Winstruct. Copyright 2000. Winstruct. That's interesting. Let's put this back back in here. It's a but it's a Microsoft certified professional products uh, specialist. And yeah, you can run it on. Well, let's see. What, let's see what the requirements are. When it was 95, 98, or ME, uh, Pentium 133 MHz or faster, 16 megabytes of RAM or greater, 16x CD-ROM drive, 640 by 480 pixel monitor, 246 or 256 colors, 4, four megabytes of hard, disk, of hard disk space, and speakers, headphones, and mouse. And yeah, so, interesting. Did not uh, expect that. Oh, we have one more thing in this box. That's it for the box. And this is a thing, I believe this is one of the things you would place over your keyboard and it would, like, as you can see, there's like key insert things. Plan, perfect. Someone wrote shift tab, I think that's what that says. Uh, plan perfect for data general machines. Cannot read what that says there, but yeah, it looks like you would, maybe you would stick these onto certain keys, but. I think, yeah, look at the back here. This is, like, it looks like this side has been used because it's all, like, taped back on. You can see over this hasn't been used, and this side kind of hasn't been used either. That's, an, that's interesting. I didn't expect this. I just expected the uh, Microsoft Word. And, yeah, that's it for the box. Uh, the box is a little bit beat up, but, you know, it's, it's still here. And, and yeah, that's it for... Uh, Microsoft Word. I'm not, I'm not sure what this is. This uh, this gets. Uh, but yeah, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, this has been a, a good surprise unboxing. I did not know I was going to find it, any of this stuff. Just besides Microsoft Word. Um, but yeah, guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.